I actually agree with you on that one. Yeah! For once, you know, because these groups, you gotta get rid of these dangerous groups that murder and raping people. And the thing about it is this one group, you know the name of this group, they uh, shot somebody 41 times, I think. Oh! Uh, plunge up another guy's ass. What's the uh, name of that group? New York uh, Police Department. Exactly. We really need to get rid of that. Gosh, you're right. That rap group we really don't like. <laughs> uh, you know what, Todd, you really should just sit there and try to look less guilty and let your lawyer speak. <laughs> coaching the NBA for 25 years now. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. How come they don't send an escort to take pictures of Kenneth Lay and Bernie Ebers when they go from town to town? I More totally people get agree. From they them. should be following you white dudes But they do, them. but they did indict those guys. They did. They indicted those they guys, they don't them. follow y'all around. They do not follow white-collar guys around checking to see if they have an insider trader information in the damn... Uh, I don't know. It seems like they're doing that. Shop. But it's more about the police following people around for being violent. Uh, and they're as violent as anybody. You're crazy. They're not as oh, violent really? as anybody. <laughs> but, here's another point. When did we stop following terrorists? When did it become, you know, we ain't got nobody else we need to be following around. Well, do you so understand we don't something? follow around rappers that all they really yeah. do is spend money and buy prostitutes and talk about shooting each other. That's it. Let them kill each other. And also, what about, you know, it is a little bit racist because why don't we focus on some of the other, you know, feuds in the music industry like the, the New York Philharmonic and the Boston Symphony. Yeah. There's a, there's exactly. a lot of tension. There's a lot of tension. Sometimes, sometimes they're side Ways glances. Yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. You acting like Dave Matthews and you know. That's right. Why don't they follow Toby Keith and Lee Greenwood around in case someone gets some bad pork rinds at a hoot nanny? <laughs> Yo, but that's it. Listen, our point is you're making fools of yourself. Thank I never you. thought whoa, whoa, I never thought you turned whoa, I'm I've said this to you six years. I've told this to you before. I'm not making a fool of myself. I've said this to you before. You're guilty now of all the things you hated white people for. You're lying to my face. You're pretending I'm you're lying about the cops. You're hypocritical. You're lying. What? Admit it, the rap community is crazy. What? This would bug me. Even if the rap community is crazy, it's centralized into the rap community. They're not going, there's no songs going, let's shoot Go ahead. white people. Tell me more, Bull Connor. Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> there's, no me song, there's no song. There's no song. Why do you, you, you want to wow. be a cop so damn bad? Doesn't he though? You really want to be a cop. Yeah, and you it's really do. He's a middle-aged man with a big head. A fat butt and weak legs. He told me that sounds like a cop. <laughs> That's every cop. Here's the killer. <laughs> Colin, you was told me cop. earlier that they, you got a 96 on the exam and they still didn't call you. You pissed. Just say it. I'm mad. I'm not a cop. You if know, I was mad, I was a cop. Yeah, Why would I defend no. the cop? You just said the deputy sheriff exam, but you could still work for Homeland Security. You could be like the head. Oh, you're right. Yeah, John Ashcroft. He's done so many horrible things this year. What did he do besides Jose Padilla, a gang member, Al Qaeda member? I forget. He stopped Dude, the civil rights. Why don't you just? Oh, Tell me how. Job boots, tell tell me. Job tell me. Watch for the goose stuff. Well, I buddy. just want to hear what John Ashcroft did because I don't want to hear what a repressive guy is. Tell me one thing he's done. Tell me one thing he's done. Yeah. Honey, he's going to renew Patriot Act too. Yeah. And then what, Patriot Act? Act what's, wrong, what's wrong with Patriot Act? By the way, it's just giving warrants. Well, you're not going to give me a chance to respond. You're just going to carry on yelling. Oh, no, because weird. you brought up. <laughs> go ahead. Well, go I, ahead because you have no answer, but go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm going to seek solace with one of my Negro friends. You better seek solace. <laughs> I'm sick of her lies. See how I'm embraced by the black community? Oh. When the racist, hey, wait, the racist wait, white guy, you, when, when the say, man tries to put me down who I have to go to to yeah. get love. Did you say, when you said Jose Padilla, I seen Greg scoop back into the shadow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about this little item of, of what about this little item Jose of, Jose Padilla uh, plays shortstop for the of the repressed, stop, right? of the repressed uh, people. During a recent speech heard by tens of thousands of people around the corner, uh, well, oh. Minister Louis Farrakhan recounted the horrors of slavery and demanded reparations for the descendants of slave. Quote, the children of murderous fathers are you, the present generation of whites. My family came here in 1921. Any better than your fathers, repent or be destroyed from the face of the earth. Well, it sounds like they're really scared of these uh, well, corporations and these cops. Yeah, let, let, me, first of all, let me say this. There's absolutely a case for reparations. The only thing is, Thank there's you. only going to be about 2,000 people that can actually trace themselves back to being a slave. But th there's actually a case for reparations. But if there's not a guy like Louis Farrakhan out there preaching something like this, nobody is going to be doing that. You know what? I do agree. I agree. There is a case for reparations. There is definitely a case for reparations. But, but when I really think about it, I don't think it's fair to ask black people to pay white people for living here in this country. <laughs> I don't think it's fair. 
think it's fair. Here's I think it's not fair. fair. There's got to be reparations. First of all, this dude, man, I, I'm saying saying I'm balanced. Yo, I'm you balanced. joined in on the club with him, and that's what I, my problem is, is. Everybody joins on how black people should get money. Chinese people, I don't think they should get money. Who the hell are you? You know what I mean? Everybody wants to know. And the main thing is, is that what bugs me more than anything yeah. is that people want to know what are you going to do with the money? I don't give a damn what we're going to do. I don't give a shit if we buy pit bulls and rims. Give us a damn money. Right, so like, quick, some, it's a legit. How about this? Reparations yeah. right now for my passenger side, my passenger side window in 1988. I, 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 we got to stop asking for this shit. We take give it. a deadline. We're taking it. You're already taking it. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you got to start We're taking it? We're taking it. What do you mean you got to start taking it? The problem is y'all don't want to pay because that way you would have to give but money that, to everybody. We already did that. Right. The Great it's Society in the 60s. It's not group. a giveaway. Don't I stop acting like it's a giveaway. Yes, it is. It. You owe the damn money. Shut up. Wait a second. There was work we done and nobody got paid. What are you asking What are you asking you to give me nothing? You got free. You see those houses? What? What house? The, the little houses down there for free. What? At the bottom of the plantation, they want a little beautiful little home. <laughs> and y'all laughing at this? Not in cold mountain. You know what? <laughs> As much as I like you, you are one step from a clan. You're I'm saying, I, 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 I forgot. I forgot when it comes to comedy, some things are off limits. Uh -huh. You guys tell me what, and I won't say the what word. Is what is it? What is it? I know you did. Dump it. Yeah, we're really clansmen because okay. we have a different opinion from you. I apologize. That yeah. makes us clansmen. What if it was the other way around, though? What if white people had been brought over as slaves by Who black knows? people? You don't think white people could be suing for reparations? No, that's a good I, argument. Who knows? Who the hell knows? I mean, white I mean, people, white, 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 white people who were being traded as slaves in, in the Ottoman Empire decades after slavery in white America. Slavery was an evil now. thing. Greg, people turn up. You're Hispanic. Why? You're because Greg has to be the white people being in my country. He tells you to shut up because he had a thing about the Ottoman Empire, which you know nothing about. No, that's it. Separate them. <laughs> and I do know about the Ottoman Empire. I know, you're wearing a hat. Because he made some, uh, <laughs> some so obscure-ass reference to the Ottoman go ahead. Empire. White people being enslaved by the uh, Ottoman Empire. I don't know that, but go ahead. Well, are we really having this conversation? Uh, no. We We're going to do it. The Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that Kobe Bryant's ac <laughs> accuser, ac accuser must provide details of her sexual history despite rape shield laws that usually prevent victims from having to answer some que such questions. That's the only way we get our reparations. Right from that? Oh, oh rape oh, white women? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I knew this son of a bitch was saying that. That was just plenty of it, but it was pretty damn no. funny. Now listen to me. But it was uncalled for. How come we don't have to hear about Kobe's sexual past? Why isn't that? You no, know, let me say this. Not Maybe he's been getting all he could uh, uh, before and on the limo ride over and in the hotel room afterward and in the hallway. That's a good point. You can, no, you can hear about Kobe's sexual past. I got, past. I got no a law that says I got you can't. If it's deemed irrelevant. I got two sisters and a mother, and I truly believe that if a woman says no is no, that's the end of it. You do not question the woman afterwards. Are you say, saying no means no? You damn right I'm saying no. You means saying no. you know no means try a little harder, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why that jackass is in jail, getting ready to go to jail. Exactly. If no, if no really meant no, we'd all still be virgins, let's be honest. <laughs> But you can't question someone's sexual history. If you say no, it's over. No, no, in this case you can. Why? Even if why, why, she's why? Said, because of how it's going down. You no, got a celebrity. It's not. Wait a minute, you got a celebrity. She's going up to his room, all right? Now, who she slept with afterwards is very important. If she slept with a uh, Joe the Fry man, why is it important? What do you mean, why is it important? Because if you believe that you were raped, there's a good chance you're not going to go and have sex a couple hours later. Yeah, I agree, but someone has to that's a very good point. That's a very good point. But it's it's a very good point. But it's not even proven. This is just speculation well, that she went out and had sex afterwards because it's not even been released in court documents. No, no. These are people. Well, obviously, it's all speculation. It's all speculation. Yeah, in the court. Maybe we shouldn't have the conversation. conversation. Listen, if we're together in a room and I rape you, you so may want to go out and get some other loving right after. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, I'm not one of these dirty whores. Wait a minute. But you no, no, no. Let me ask you this. This is the stupidest f***ing day on the show ever. Oh! I really can't f***ing take it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we're trying to have... I'm not Whoa. saying... I'm not using... Jesus. I'm not... Let me ask you... I'm not... Let me ask you... 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 Let me ask you
It's like Jerry Springer, not, final it's four. It's whore defense. I believe in yeah. Ray Shield. This guy was a this guy I believe was a Ray Your Shield argument ball. is poorly conceived and badly put across, uh, and that's why it's just stupid up, as to him. Look, the whole thing is this. <laughs> oh, yes. there are, there are, there's a reason. I believe in the Rape Shield laws. There's a reason really? in this case, in this case, there's a reason in this case that they're making exceptions. Uh -huh. She has physical damage. Because she's a woman and he's famous. Oh, uh, would you stop being so predictable, Barney Shirt? There's a, there's a reason. She's claiming physical damage. She's going in saying, oh she's saying she was raped. She's going in showing physical damage. If you could you show she had sex. You seem to know an awful lot about rape, Greg. He was a lawyer. Now I know a lot about on. the story, which is what we do on this goddamn show. Jesus <laughs> Christ, can someone read one f***ing <laughs> paper? My goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've got a hammer, because Greg... You know what really hard? You don't play it. I like it. all up over my head. You know what? You should have stayed with this Lawyer, what do you like at home, baby? If someone, if someone has physical damage, they're saying they're proving rape because right. she was physically damaged, right? And if right. they can prove she had sex with four other guys. Give it a f here, Ruby Shield. Watch out. Someone disagreed with me. Easy. A 35 year old woman was arrested for purchasing beer, <laughs> renting a hotel room. <laughs> nice. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Suede. <laughs> and, uh, oh, anyway, the story of the stripper and her 16-year-old kid, you know what happened. The go-karts were close, she stripped at the party. I just like to say I'm keeping my stick because Greg is real mad. Greg's not playing games. He's going to beat up Poops. Yeah, and I'm, I'm uh, huh? Well, what are you going to do? Just smack somebody with that stick? Probably the first white face you see. Put it down. <laughs> that was... Uh, I know how it goes off. What's up? <laughs> I think that mother was fully within her rights for putting on a strip show for her kids. She should have got raped. I think that parents should have. <laughs> See that? They should have they made it. They should have made her a slave. Do not edit. I don't want an air edit. They should have made her a slave and then raped her. <laughs> we'll be right back.